Well, hello and welcome back to the Fred Everest Challenge with me, Bomber Herald. Now, I said I was going to come back on the last game of the season, but events have conspired against me, and I thought I'll bring this one. We're away to Burnley, who are we? Who are just behind us in the table. Now we're out of the relegation zone, thanks to some absolutely stunning wins. Now we beat Tottenham, league leaders Tottenham, 2-1 at home. Then we thrashed West Ham. We were lucky to draw against Everton. We scored in the 80th minute and Johnny Evans scored a horrendous own goal in the 92nd minute. We came, we let the lead slip in the last minute against Sunderland, which was a vital game. I thought things were going to go bad, but then look at these results. 4-1 thrashing of Chelsea. And then a 5-4 victory over Liverpool. It was, I mean, such an exciting match. Fraser Campbell has played phenomenally for us in the last two matches. And, well, he's put us in a great position. So I thought I'd bring us this one. We've got three back-to-back -back away games. We need to get something out of all of them, I think. But 100% we need to win this game against Burnley. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to play that game now. So, if you give me a couple of minutes, I'll be back at game time. And we're back. So, um, while we're away, we've had dramatic occurrences at the West Brom training ground. Alan Neom has come to me and he's had his head turned by Liam, so he's asked to leave. Now, last time we had this, we had Solomon Rondon. It ruined a whole season. He finally went to China in a £35 million deal. So, happy with the money, happy with the, with the players we've got. We've got Roberto Soldado, who's just come back from injury, and he's he's stepped up and he's scoring goals as is Marco Rubin. Obviously, Alan Neom now has come back. Hopefully, this isn't going to ruin a whole season. I'm going to drop him down to the bench because... I'm not having unhappy, unhappy players in my squad. And in fact, no, we'll, we'll leave him on the subs bench because we might, we might need him. I don't want to cut my nose off completely, despite my face. Take Jonas Olsen off because now we've got enough room. Right, so we're going to go into this match away to Burnley. Keep this narrow formation going. I just hope that this... This nightmare scenario with Alan Neom... Asking to leave isn't going to come back and disrupt us again. We've only just got back on track. We've only got four games remaining. So let's have a look. I'm going to go in. All right. Weaker foot. Weaker foot. Continue to the team talk. Right. So pick up where you left off last time. And uh, let's tell them, I've got faith in them, go out there and make a difference. Hopefully, this video is a little bit better than my last ones. Two things. Number one, different microphone. Hopefully it's a lot clearer and, and a bit crisper. I know it's not It's not great, I haven't got money to be spending on professional microphones at the moment. Um, also, I've changed the settings of the screen, so we've now zoomed in 125%. Makes the text a little bit easier to read for me and hopefully it does to you as well so we've kicked off after three minutes we've got our first highlight and this is, looks like oh my word you see we weren't doing things like this in the last four or five matches the absolute collapse of form just based on one player is unbelievable I've never had a save where it's impacted so much now we need to pick up Chad Lee, Johnny Evans, to Lee, who's been phenomenal, and that's cleared away for a throw in. Problem is, we fall behind so early in the game, it's going to be very easy for us to get absolutely spanked. Come on, close him down. Oh, good grief! Every single time you get a news item warning you about a player and then that player just goes and scores. How 
has he left a mark like that? We've been absolutely solid at the back. It's like Prick came in asking to leave. Apologies for my language. Yes! Get in there! Lee Chung Yong. Now that is what he's been doing. I mean, this is just delightful. Takes it, one touch, then volleys it in. Across the keeper. I mean, that is, that is a class goal from a class player. Need to start pushing forward, though. And here we are again on the back foot. We've got Bo's Michael in goal because Foster's injured. Um, so, I mean, it's it's not been great. I mean, to be fair, Bo was, was in goal against Chelsea and Liverpool. Conceded four against Liverpool. And he's conceded three here. What an absolute disgrace. Good Lord. Who boy is he playing out there? Right. I mean, we're, we're on top. We've had more shots. We're doing the attacking and we're just getting caught constantly. Lee. Lee. Oh, come on. Got too many men back. And then just catching us on the break. Look at that. Good grief. Beat Chelsea 4 1 and then struggle against Burnley. I mean, this, this game, man, it just. Oh, it infuriates me sometimes. We're going to have to change things up at half time. Tinker with the tactics, see what we can do. I mean, that just. We're going aggressive. Yeah, sort yourselves out. Right. <sighs> right, we're going to have to bring Naomi on. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Right. We'll put, play wing backs. We'll drop, tell you what. Give me one minute and we'll be back to see what we've done. Rather than watching you, watching me tinker with the tactics, we'll come back and you'll, you'll see what I've done. So bear with me one minute. Right, and we're back. So kind of going to try something here. I don't think it's going to work because obviously I use this in my Barcelona save which uh, was my first series which I'm now carry on as a personal save and um, so we'll we'll give it a go. It's it's a formation that I saw on the Sports Interactive website so I've kind of kind of copied it to see how it's going. It works fantastically well for Barcelona can it work for West Bromwich Albion? Uh, let's get the... And also, we're keeping Patterson on as a wing-back. we decided we're not going to give him a, another chance. He's He's gone. It needs to be. We've got Matt Phillips that can come in as a wing-back there. Um, Soldado on the bench. I'm going to bring him on as well, actually, because we, we, need, we need players now. Right, so let's get this second half underway. See if we can come back from 3-1 down or whether we're going to get smashed even further. So, we survived for four minutes. Nearly five. But it looks like the, the highlights go in their way. Yeah, absolutely caught out. Just, they just don't know how to defend this team. Look at the state of that. Just get more pressure on us because it's a ridiculous clearance. Now, this is what we're on about. Soldado. It's got men streaming forward. Morrison to... Yes! Andrea Poli! That's what we're talking about. Second goal of the season for the Italian. I mean, he's not renowned for getting goals, but he does function in a ball-winning midfielder spot quite well. I mean, that... That is an absolutely cracking finish. But it doesn't look like we're going to get another attempt, even though we're... We seem to be bossing the second half. It looks like it's going to end in a defeat. 
and they're going to score fourth here. Yeah, Dre Gray. And have we got have we got it in us? Have we? Need to show some fight. Nasa Chadley, Soldado, to Lee! 3-3! Three, three. Get in there! Second of the match. 3-3. Three, three. What a beautiful bit of link-up play there from Soldado to the South Korean. And that is a fantastic finish. Two great finishes from him. Hold on to the point or push and get get a, a fourth to win it. Andre Poli! It is 4-3! What a strike! Let's have a look at this one in 3D. Soldado here. To Poli. Takes one touch to settle himself and then smashes it into the bottom corner. Goalkeeper should have done better, but I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain at all. I'm not going to jinx it. We're not going to do any team talks or change the mentality. We're just going to carry on. Are we going to get a fifth here? No. We're going to... Yes! What a win! That is a strong, strong performance from the lads in the second half. Absolutely amazing. So proud of them. Absolutely amazing. I'm now sticking with that formation. The West Bromwich Albion play by Barcelona official. I mean, that was exciting. The, the difference in the halves there. We looked more solid at the back. Look, looked strong going forwards. Now we've got a three-point cushion between ourselves and Burnley. Three games to go. We've got um, two more away games and a home match against Arsenal. Considering how we do against the teams at the top, I mean, we've beaten Tottenham this season, we've beaten Manchester City this season, we've beaten Liverpool, we've beaten Chelsea. So, who knows? We, we could even get a result against Arsenal. I think we're, we're two wins away from securing survival. I, th I think two, two wins and we're there. We could probably get away with a win and a draw. But you know, it's it's been it's been good. I mean, it's it's been an emotional roller coaster this match. But thankfully, we've got the three points on the board. I do feel a bit guilty about um, stealing a formation from there. But then again, all the player instructions, team instructions, everything I have I have put in there. It's just simply the formation. I just liked the look of it. I thought it fitting well with Barcelona, and it's. Um, you know, it, it fits in well for West Brom, so I think we'll we'll run with that one. So, I've been Bomb Herald. I'm going to go away, get a cup of tea and compose myself now. And until next time, I'm going to say, see you later. Yeah.